Hi everybody and welcome to Devotions today. It's Monday and I hope and pray that the new week will be full of blessings for you. You know, in the stories of Jesus, there are incredible lessons to be learned about living this life. And the story that I really love, and the story you know very well, is the story of the calming of the sea. And I'm just going to read that to you now from Mark's Gospel, chapter 4, verse 35 and onwards. That day when Jesus came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was. And there were also other boats with them. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat, so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. And the disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. And then the wind died down and was completely calm. And he said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. What a wonderful story. And there's so many lessons to be learned from that story. I'd like to mention seven <laughs> today. It sounds like a lot, but I'm going to say them quickly. The first one is, when evening came, Jesus still has things for us to do, even in the evening of our lives. Sometimes I think, well, I've done my bit. No, in the evening, there's still something to do. The second thing is Jesus says, let's go to the other side. Why do you want to go to the other side? Well, there were things for him to do on the other side. And we read the story later of the man who he healed, the demoniac. Jesus wants us sometimes to go to the other side, maybe just to the other side of the road to go and see somebody, to help somebody, to encourage them. Maybe a bit further than that. He wants us to reach out. The third thing is a furious storm arose and they were nearly swamped. And just because Jesus calls us to do something and we feel that it's something that we need to do, it doesn't mean that there are not going to be difficulties and struggles and storms along the way. They got to the other side eventually, but only after some real struggles, and this was one of them. And then fourthly, in the middle of all this, Jesus was in the stern of the boat, sleeping on a cushion. How could he do that? Well, because his father held his son Jesus right in the hollow of his hand, and Jesus knew that he was completely secure in his father's will. His trust in his father was total and his life was completely surrendered to him. And there was a calm and he could even sleep in the midst of it all. And then the fifth thing is that the disciples went and they woke up Jesus said, Lord, don't you care that we're, drown that we're going to drown? Well, they did the right thing. They went to Jesus. But they Prayer was a prayer of panic, not so much of faith. You know, Isaiah wrote in chapter 30, verse 15 of the book of Isaiah, it says, In quietness and in confidence will be your strength. So when we, feed, when we hit the troubles of life and the storms that come along the way, we can quieten our hearts. We can have total confidence in God. And from that comes our inner strength. And Jesus has got to that point, but he met his disciples. He met his disciples just where they were, because we're told Jesus got up and he rebuked the wind. And he said to the waves, quiet, be still. That even though their faith was still a growing faith, he met them where they were and he responded to their call. And when we turn to Jesus and hand to him the situations in our lives, we can be sure that he gets to work 
immediately and he will bring about his will as we let him do what he needs to do in our own life situations. Lastly, he says to them, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? Haven't you learned by now that you can trust me? And we can trust Jesus. He expects us. We've walked with him a long way to trust him completely. How's your faith? And when this had all been done, the disciples said, who is this? We know he is the Son of God. God bless as you go into this week. Cheers for now.